Mm -hmm. You can hold on to your legs if you want to. Okay, great. If you're not holding on, clasp your hands out in front of you the same way you did. Sorry, the palms touching the same way you did in Crescent. Mm -hmm. And then turn your body to the right a little bit and turn your body to the left a little bit. Good, to the right and to the left. Good, and to the right and to the left. And then change the clasp. And can you go to the right and left? And now can you change the clasp while you're moving? And can you not change the, change the grip or whatever in unison with you going right and left? Can you just do it at random intervals? And can you even maintain the shape of the pose when you're doing that? <laughs> and can you laugh a little and have a little fun? <laughs> and then just lay flat on your back and rest. <laughs> So when I first started working on my handstand practice forever ago, <laughs> um, I could only kick up with my right leg. I could not, we're not doing handstand today, you guys, don't worry. But I could not kick up with my left leg. I could only kick up with my right leg. My left one, just everything was thrown off balance. I had no control. And so I decided that I wanted to change that. And so I started practicing with my left leg. Where I failed was I only practiced with my left leg and then I was unable to kick up with my right. <laughs> so it's better to kind of mix it up a little bit, and keep the variability alive. Uh, try, try poses with, in different variations. Try different hand mudras than, the, than you always do because you will get more out of the poses in the long run.